Hi everybody. First of all, you need to measure a length of yarn from your ball in order to make the loops of your knitting. In order to start, we need to make a slip knot. So you bring your yarn over, tuck it underneath and pull it through and pull it tight. And then you're going to put that onto your wrist and tighten it a little bit. You still, you don't want it so tight you can't move it. You need to be able to move your arm in. Then you're going to take your hand and pick up between the two strands of yarn hanging and hold them with your finger and make something like that. Now we're going to cast on the stitches. In order to cast on, you're going to take your finger underneath that loop, catch that one there, pull it through and slide it onto your arm. I'll do that again. Over, through there, loop <coughs> that through and put that hand through. And we want to put maybe six to eight onto your arm. Through, loop it onto your arm. Loop onto your arm. I've got one, two, three, three, four, five, six. We'll put eight on there. Just sitting there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on your arm. And then we're going to start knitting. So you're going to hold your yarn in your hand. Take the first loop, put it over your hand. And stick your other hand through and wiggle it about a bit to make it a little bit tighter. Take your next one over, put your arm through. And you're going to tighten it a little bit, but again, not too tight. down a little bit. Now everything that was on that hand has changed to the other hand. We're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before, just on the opposite hand. So you're going to hold the yarn with that hand, pull it over and put your hand through. And just tighten it up a little bit. Hold it there. Over. Through. Just tightening it a little bit each time without making it so tight that you can't get it off. And there you can already see that it's starting to grow. Alright, so when you've got it as long as you want it, 
and if you're not sure whether it's going to be long enough you can always put it around your neck and see where it's going to come then we have to cast off now if you want to do it longer so it will go around your neck twice just keep going until you can flip it around your neck twice so when you're casting off it's very similar to doing your regular rows but you're going to have to watch closely because this time you only have two stitches on your other hand so you're going to take your first stitch tighten it up a little bit take your second stitch and tighten it up a little bit and then you're going to lift that first stitch over the top of the second one so then we go back here make another stitch put it on your hand tighten it up a little bit and take that one over the top and we keep going that way and over I did. I made a mistake. I forgot. And you can see there I just unraveled it. We'll go back to do that. We're almost to our last stitch here. We'll pull that through and then take this last off. And you can see here. That's, that's the only back thing on there, and in order to finish it off completely, we can cut the yarn, I or in this case, hurt. I'm just going to put the whole ball through. 